It is located at the top of the Astor Hotel in the heart of Hollywood with spectacular views. And now the Lemon Grove restaurant is rolling out its new seasonal menu for lunch, dinner and brunch. Joining us here in the studio with a tasty preview is the culinary executive officer, Chef Marcel Venero. Yes, welcome. Thanks Thank for you joining so us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So the people aren't familiar with your restaurant. Uh, tell us more about the concept and its uh, Ode to Hollywood. Yes, yeah, so Lemon Grove is kind of an homage to our agrarian past here in Hollywood. The actual Hollywood used to be a, a, a series of lemon groves back in the day before it became the concrete jungle as we know it oh, wow. today. So we pay a lot of homage to our agricultural traditions and the culinary melting pot that is, you know, Hollywood and Los Angeles today. And what is this rooftop? It's so beautiful. It is one of the most, most gorgeous rooftops in all of Hollywood, I believe. Um, great for lunch, brunch, and uh, and dinner. Nice little vibe up there. Yeah, and you guys just debuted your fall menu. Uh, any special ingredients? Yeah, so we went super fall with this one. We've got mm -hmm. pumpkins, we've got squash, anything that's kind of fall, you know, you name it, it's pretty much on the menu. You Perfect. also have a, uh, a special brunch. We do have a special brunch, yeah. yeah. So I mean, every every brunch is special for us, but we like to do live music. We do entertainment. We have DJs, and we have some nice brunch items, right? Because it's all about the food too. Yeah, let's Not take just a the vibe. let's take a peek. I went a, a taste. Little, I went a little bit festive over here. This first dish that we have is our bougie chips and dip. Uh, today I went with a little little jack o' lantern theme. It's not always a jack o' lantern, but today it is. Uh, so we actually have a smoked trout that we do in house. Um, I have a spoon for you here if you want a little extra, yeah, a little extra assistance. Um, but the smoked trout is mixed with a little bit of creme fraiche, uh, some cornichons, we have an egg yolk jam, and then a little bit of smoked trout roe on top, and uh, some chives, and then just our little crispy potato chips And there. the presentation is really cool with the bowl and the ice, so there's a little yeah, movement. Keeps it keeps it nice, yeah. keeps it fresh, keeps it cool, you know? Very yeah. nice. And uh, Glenn already saw your avocado toast uh, like two hours ago. He was very excited about it. So we're going to look at that. What makes it unique? Yeah, so everybody raves about our avocado toast. <laughs> it, this one, you know, avocado toast, I feel like is a quintessential mm. dish in Los yes. Angeles. But, you know, I wanted to make ours a little bit more unique. Mm. So we actually do a yuzu marmalade on mm. there. And then we have uh, the avocado smash, a little bit of ninja radish, some serrano, cilantro, mm. pickled onions, mm. and then some sauteed mushrooms as well. And we oh, do that on a, on a sourdough. The marmalade gives it a that nice is, little, it is nice really little sweetness, yes, but a little bit of bitter, bitterness too. Good job. And it's just, uh, you know, normally avocado, you use a lot of citrus, mm -hmm. lemon, lime, but you know, we wanted to kind of stand out and, and pay an homage to our, our Japan town, not too far away. Right, what it. do we have here? So this is a brand new dish on the fall menu. This is our octopus carpaccio. The octopus is actually steamed in banana leaves for one hour, uh, served with a gochujang ketchup, a little mm. homage to Koreatown. We have uh, furikake, togarashi, uh, yuzu aioli, and then a little chili oil. One of my favorite sort of preparations for octopus because it gives it a nice tenderness, but it's not too chewy, but also not too soft. Nice presentation too. And Thank who you. doesn't love pasta? And tell yeah. the story about the guitar pasta. Yeah. Yeah, so this lemon pasta at the Lemon Grove, obviously mm -hmm. one of our signatures. So the lemon pasta is actually inspired by, you know, Hollywood's rock and roll past. So the pasta that we use is a fresh Italian pasta made with Italian flour by Italians. It couldn't be any more legit, but the <laughs> dish is actually a little bit unique. So the pasta is a chitara, which is the Italian word for guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, we're right across from Capitol Records. One day when I was creating the dish, I was looking across, thinking about rock and roll, and I thought, chitara, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the lemon pasta, a little bit unusual. I was thinking about lemons, then I started thinking about lemongrass, and then I went to Thai Town, our neighborhood right over here, mm -hmm. and we do a Tom Ka. So you actually have lemongrass, lime leaf, almost some of those subtle curry flavors are in there, a little bit of Thai basil, leeks, mm. a, a macroot lime essence, and a cherry tomato confit. It's I can really actually nice. taste almost everything you just mentioned. I know, me right? too. It's yeah. explosive flavors, and it's unusual it because we usually reserve, you know, pasta for Italian dishes. Exactly. And this is much more sort of Thai inspired, so it's kind very of a unique, unique thing. And then, like you know, a little bit of turmeric gives us that lemon color, you know. And it's healthy for us. It is, I'm absolutely. Yeah. Not that, so this healthy. This dish is actually vegan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coconut I know, cream. I just ate it all. Oh, yeah, up. I love that. And uh, these, who doesn't yeah. like a. a 
little onion uh, ring. Yeah, so this one is our play on a classic, which is just liver and onions, right? Like grandma used to make. Ours is a little bit updated. We do a chicken liver parfait. We have a little uh, cherry compote on the side and then some crispy onion rings on top. One of my sort of, you know, personal favorite dishes. It's something my grandma used to make all the time and just gives me that nostalgia, but it's also nice. our sort of whimsical play on top of it. Mm -hmm. So you get the crispy crunch of the onion rings and then, you know, the savory creaminess of the uh, parfait on this there This would well. be a great place when folks come in town for the holidays, maybe after it they're is. full from Thanksgiving, it come is. over and have yep. a drink on and the rooftop. And we're rooftop. doing a nice little celebration for New Year's. Uh, oh, we do okay. some custom menus uh, for that as well. And uh, and Christmas as well. So great, great for the holidays. All right. All right. Congratulations. And, Very you good. Know, fortunately, Excellent we have this lovely weather. So yes. great to Perfect. be on that beautiful rooftop. Cali. All right. Once again, Lemon Grove is located at the top of the Astor Hotel right here in Hollywood. For more information, including hours of operations and the full menu, visit theastorla.com. You can also follow on Instagram at Lemon Grove Los Angeles. Chef, thanks for joining us. Casey, I love the fact that uh, Hollywood was uh, basically a bunch of lemon groves before humans got here. I, someone's actually <laughs> shown me a picture of that before, though. You they just don't remember. Don't, but, you know, I will tell you. I know they just, did, but lots of humans. <laughs> you just made it onto my list of restaurants to try. Right? So, yeah. Come on by. Yeah, Anytime. I love it.